Hi, love bugs. Today we're gonna revisit with our reading lesson today, the story, Who's in the Shed? Now yesterday we finished the story, Who's in the Shed? But we're gonna reread it right now together. So as I read with you, I want you to read with me. So if you start to get the feeling of the story and you can read it with me, please read along. And then afterwards, we're gonna finish our story map from yesterday the beginning, the middle, and the end. So as we're reading, let's make sure we're paying attention to what happened at the start, the beginning of the story, what's happening in the middle of our story, and what happens at the end of our story. Here we go. Who's in the shed? Down at the farm one Saturday night, the animals woke with a terrible fright. There was howling and growling and roaring and clawing as something was led from a truck to the shed. Who's in the shed? Everyone said. Who's in the shed? Let me have a peep, bade the big white sheep. Let me have a peep. So the sheep had a peep through a hole in the shed. What did she see? My turn now, mooed the sleek brown cow. My turn now. So the cow had a peep through a hole in the shed. What did she see? Let me see in there, neighed the old gray mare. Let me see in there. So the mare had a peep through a hole in the shed. What did she see? Now looking at this animal, love bugs, if you never heard the word mare before, what must a mare be if it looks like this? Good job, it's a type of a horse, right? It's a horse. What is it then, clucked the little red hen. What is it then? So the hen had a peep through a hole in the shed. What did she see? It's something big, grunted the fat pink pig. It's something big. So the pig had a peep through a hole in the shed. What did she see? <gasps> How dare you stare, roared the circus bear. And everyone ran away from there. So love bugs, let's put the story to the side and let's take out our story map that we were working on yesterday. It looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see where we were yesterday. Okay, we were talking about what happened at the beginning and we said a truck came to the farm, the animals hear scary noises, something goes into the shed. That all started the story for us at the beginning. In the middle, we knew that the sheep and the cow took a peek. What animals took a peek next? Very good. So next we're gonna say the mare, M-A-R-E, the mare, hen, And pig took a peek. Remember, love bugs? If you need some time, you can pause it. That's what's really great about these videos. You pause it, try to write it. For peek, I always draw eyes because a peek means we're looking at something. That's what happened in the middle. What would we say happened at the end? Very good. At the end, they see it was a bear. So in the end, the bear yelled. Remember you said, how dare you stare? So maybe you could draw
bear yelling. My bear's not that great, but is that okay? Sure, it's okay if we're not perfect at drawing. We just wanna get our point across. So the bear yelled, like maybe I'll make the rest of his body to show he's a bear, his little tail. The bear yelled, and after the bear yelled at them, what did the animals do? Yeah, I would have too, right? He looked a little bit scary. The animals ran away. So I'm just gonna show you some legs, like that's a tail. Here's a footprint. Here's my pig leaving. There's his nose and his ears and his tail. And I'm gonna make these lines to make it like, they are moving fast. They are leaving those animals. Very good. And that's our story map, okay? So we always wanna make sure we look back at the stories we read and we think about what happens. What are the events that happened in the beginning when the story starts? What's going on in the middle? when we're reading, and how does that story end? What's the closing? How does everything finish in the story? And in this one, the bear yells at them, how dare you stare, and then all of the animals run away. Okay, so great job today, love bugs. Thank you for rereading the story with me and using such good voices, and thank you for finishing your story map. We'll do a little more with this story tomorrow.